Just the things that have became so appealing for High Limit for me, um, you know, number one, my relationship with Brad and Kyle and their vision in, with the sport of sprint car racing and their direction, their long-term plan uh, is extremely appealing for me with, um, you know, the charter system that they've uh, started roughly to create, um, you know, and this is all long-term down the road. And I think it's, it's very important that I, I support, um, you know, people like that that are, that are trying to lead the front to our industry. And, and I believe in the product of sprint car racing. So um, this is, we got some amazing people in this industry and, um, you know, and we have a, a big massive support system from um, my fans to my partners to my family to um, the direction Brad and Kyle and Flo are taking sprint car racing. Uh, you know, it's, it's all just exciting, positive stuff. I still am focused on winning as many races as I can. Um, you know, I look at this as a three-year plan for me. Um, when you race for a title, uh, you know, and, and you just work to build towards that, um, you know, and collect all the data you can the first season and minus those mistakes the second season and then go for a championship the third season. So it's it's an investment for me and my team to, to go in that direction um, where you're racing for a, a title and a championship and um, you know it's a different approach to racing and I think it's it's so important that I just uh, you know I just focus on winning races and bringing our partners along and uh, you know it's still I still consider it a true outlaw schedule I mean that they're, they're they're not far off of the 60 high limit races aren't far off of what I did last year um, they still pay um, you know an extraordinary amount they have 300,000 of wins and a couple 50s and, and a bunch of 20, 25s. So that's that's important to my team. Um, and, and and to be able to have the freedom to go run World of Outlaw races in between those races, it's it just, why wouldn't you go race with High Limit? I think the, the relationship's grown over the year and and, the, and I've understood the direction that Brad's really taken the sport. And is it, it was, uh, you know, it was important for Brad to come over and have lunch with me and my family and um, just shake hands on, you know, on what he's building here and, and you know, I, I committed to their series and, um, you know, it definitely was the day. And I and I also like to, to bring the marketing aspect into this and, um, you know, and it's important that we do create a little rivalry here with the World of Outlaws and the, the, with flow and dirt vision and high limit and you get the fans involved and, um, you know, I think you, you see the interaction and the insights behind those posts and, and, and they do well because, this is a competition. We're in motorsports, and it's important that you know it's created behind the scenes. It's created live, and it's created at the racetrack as well.